Uh, let's see. So then the final uh, section is a short one just on acetabular screw fixation and uh, safe zones. Uh, this was delineated by uh, our previous speaker, Dr. Rubash, and Ray Wozlewski did a couple of studies looking at this. So the safe zones are designed by, uh, I'll show a diagram in a minute, but uh, designed by drawing a line from A through C and then a perpendicular line through C out toward D. And then you've got your four quadrants. So in order to determine the uh, boundaries, uh, this question can be a little confusing. Um, the initial line is drawn through which one of the two anatomic landmarks? So it's important to remember that initially the line is drawn A through C, and then the second line is perpendicular to that toward D, but through, through C. So the answer to this would be number one, A and C. And uh, that was missed by a number of people. So I think uh, it's not enough to just understand where the quadrants are, as demonstrated in this slide, but to understand how those quadrants are derived in drawing the line from A to C and then a perpendicular that goes through C. So um, very important to keep in mind these four quadrants. The safe zone is the green up top. Uh, caution zone, posterior inferior to the back by the sciatic notch. We have the gluteal vessels, nerves, and the sciatic nerve. Inferior zone, obturator nerve and artery. And anterior zone, otherwise referred to as the death zone, uh, has the uh, iliac arteries and veins. So just make sure you know those quadrants cold. Um, these are uh, repetitive going over the different zones. So the anterior inferior quadrant referred to the danger or death zone. Oh, excuse me, that's the inferior. Anterior superior quadrant referred to the death zone where you have the large iliac vessels at risk. Uh, Harry Rubash and Ray Wozlewski did a follow-up study looking at high hip centers, particularly in a revision setting, or trying to depict a revision setting, and the uh, safe zones in a revision. So if you have a high hip center, it changes the safe zone slightly. Uh, it brings uh, the iliac vessels into play uh, in the green zone. So it, the safe zone posterior superior becomes smaller. Both the sciatic nerve is at risk in the back and the iliac vessels are at risk in the front. So when you're looking at safe zones and you see high hip center or multiple revised hip in the question, uh, just keep in mind that it changes your uh, safe zones. So uh, question number five, I think this is the last question. And this is a large uncemented acetabular component in a revision setting. Patient had a foot drop and reticular pain in post-op uh, exam. CT scan showed a screw penetrating into the cytic notch and the screw is most likely inserted into the acetabulum in which zone? So uh, posterior superior is the safe zone. The uh, excuse me, anterior, ooh, where am I? Yeah, anterior inferior quadrant would be the one that would get the cytic notch. Oh, excuse me, posterior superior. I would have gotten that wrong. I think it's time for me to move on. Uh, so, um, oh, one more point about uh, acetabular component positioning. The acetabular component um, can be proud in the front. If you use a large acetabular component, say in a revision, uh, it can lead to iliopsoas impingement. Um, impingement is also increased, as we talked about, head-neck ratio if you use uh, skirts or small femoral head. Ways to uh, kind of detect iliopsoas impingement is a cross-table lateral to see if the acetabulum is proud to the uh, pelvis. And you can use a uh, uh, iliopsoas tendon injection, uh, anesthetize this to see if that relieves the symptoms to see if that's the problem. So this is the final question, number 11. Uh, placement of the supplemental screw fixation with the acetabulum component um, has the greatest risk for vascular injury if placed in the anterior superior quadrant number five, and that would be the, uh, the death zone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.